Inside Science TV. This is one of the largest and oldest cohort studies in the world. We've followed over 230,000 women over several decades. And every two years, they answer questionnaires about their lifestyle and health. And in particular, we ask them every four years to report back to us the kinds of foods that they eat. We use this information to look at what women ate, and then we followed them up to see who got ovarian cancer and who didn't. Each year, about 20,000 women in the U.S. are diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Sadly, it's frequently diagnosed when it's already at an advanced stage. Ovarian cancer is a really difficult disease. It's very deadly. Um, within five years of diagnosis, over 50% of women with an ovarian cancer diagnosis have died. Now, new results from studying the cohort, or group study over 30 years, reveal that women who consume tea can actually lower their risk of ovarian cancer. Women who had two or more cups of tea per day had about a 30% lower risk of ovarian cancer compared to women who had one or less cups of tea per day. That's good news for tea lovers. Tea contains powerful natural compounds called flavonoids that help protect our bodies against disease and possibly some cancers. We think that um, these compounds uh, help reduce inflammation and they have what's called antioxidant properties, so they help reduce stress inside your body cells. The compounds are also found in broccoli, kale, even red wine, and in citrus fruits. The study found that drinking a daily glass of orange juice could modestly help reduce your risk as well, but not as well as tea. We found that high consumption of oranges and orange juice was associated with a suggestively lower risk of ovarian cancer, although the association wasn't significant. The healthy compounds are already found in most people's diets, so what do researchers suggest? The underlying message here is to continue to eat a healthy diet. And some of the ways that you can do that are by consuming more tea and citrus fruits. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.